the title of this presentation is Clustering Cell Annotation and Heat Maps with, Morthe with Morpheus. To begin with a presentation overview, we'll be introducing Morpheus, which is an open source platform provided by developers at the Broad Institute for automating several data-oriented procedures, including calculation of different correlations of coefficients of correlation, cell annotation, clustering, and constructing heat maps. And to mark ourselves comfortable with this interface, we'll be describing how importing a FASTA file looks like in Morpheus and how any other general impressions of the computational routines that Morpheus can help automate can be of use for us for analyzing FASTA files with thousands or potentially hundreds of thousands of sequences. And there can this is to say that there can be several purposes of making use of the Morpheus interface. For one, some of the some of the websites that the Morpheus documentation lists as being interesting and helpful for being able to make use of this open source platform is the fact that we can look at different dependencies between cancer and other types of diseases, in which we can look at selecting different types of cell lines and trying to download type of data, which can help us understand how different mutations accumulate in cancer cell lines and in which type of um, abnormalities or, uh, or abrupt changes and in, uh, processes involved in the cell would lead to different types of cancer. And this is uh, this is underscored by the fact that the documentation of Morpheus also provides several preloaded data sets for use, in which from the tutorial section of their website that they provide for Morpheus, besides being able to make use of and interpret uh, different types of uh, FASTA files, which we'll be demonstrating, can be used in this open source platform. It's also possible to look at different types of ways to construct heat maps, to annotate cells for viewing different purposes of cells and different functionality of cells, as well as being able to look at and interpret different FASTA files from a sequence or a collection of full sequences or of thousands or hundreds of thousands of sequences in a FASTA file in isolation to perform different types of oriented or pointed analyses uh, for many different types of purposes. And this is an example of some of the preloaded data sets which one can use, which are going to be a little bit different than the FASTA file that I'm going to be loading into Morpheus and making some interpretations and discussion of the functionalities that Morpheus can provide for us. So this is to give an idea of the interface that can be used for Morpheus in which one can just directly drag and load um, the FASTA file or whatever collection of genetic sequences one is interested in looking at. And once we import the sequences for the FASTA file from different sessions that are loaded into Morpheus, we can see that in this case of this specific FASTA file that I uploaded just to look at things and to make use of the interface with, we can see that there are a little more than 85,000 rows. And the um, after we import the FASTA file, we can see that uh, is characterized by the fact that there's some ID as well as the DNA sequence followed by and then uh, there's a barcode identifier in which these collection of sequences were produced by Trinity Transcriptome Assembly Procedure. And I won't go into what the Transcriptome Assembly Procedure with Trinity is, but it's a bioinformatics pipeline that's made that was introduced by other developers at the Broad Institute, namely Brian Haas and some of his colleagues, in which they're able to produce full-length contigs uh, for predicting different types of characteristics of the transcriptome. So one can take the FASTA file, which is given by the output of the transcriptome assembly, and be able to more easily interpret and look at all of the sequences together and perform different type of automated computational routines within Morpheus, which can be a lot easier rather than having to look at the entire FASTA file and to open it, it's much more convenient to have this interface to be able to load the FASTA file in with however many number of genetic sequences are produced by the transcriptome assembly or even by the assembly from different bioinformatic pipelines and to make use of Morpheus, uh, the functionalities of Morpheus, which we'll be describing a little bit more in the upcoming slides. And this is to say that in Morpheus, we can look at making different types of conversions between file formats. So for instance, if we load in this FASTA file, we can look to make use of some functionalities from the first tab in Morpheus to convert between different types of file formats rather than the FASTA input that we initially loaded into the interface. 
Furthermore, we can look at uh, looking at um, we can we can make use of the interface to look at different types of sequences and to uh, group other types of sequences together, in which, for instance, one may want to look at and isolate different types of commonalities or qualities from a couple of different sequences from the approximately uh, forty thousand sequences that we've loaded into Morpheus. So we're also capable of being able to do this. And we can also select multiple rows and columns for computing various co coefficients of correlation. For instance, if we're given two genetic sequences, there can be many different types of metrics or different types of computational ways in which someone can try to assess how similar or different the, the two sequences are. For instance, a very simple metric to compare the two sequences, DNA sequences would be the Hamming distance, which is just measuring what is the difference between any one of the uh, base pairs of the DNA sequence for all the all the base pairs of the sequence? But there can also be more complicated, sophisticated coefficients of correlation, which we can also look at and compute from either all of the sequences in the FASTA file that we input into the interface, or also um, a couple of sequences, uh, a couple of isolated sequences from the FASTA file that we're importing into the interface. And this is to say that besides the coefficients and other types of clustering methods, such as hierarchical clustering or k-means clustering, there can also be uh, other types of charts, similarity matrices, and sorting and transposing uh, sequences uh, from this FASTA file, which we can do in Morpheus as well. So the conclusion is that we introduced Morpheus and we discussed several functionalities of Morpheus and approximately 40,000 sequences, which were contained in the FASTA file, which we uploaded to the server for analysis. And of course, I have there can be uh, more complicated FASTA files, which potentially hundreds of thousands of sequences, which Morpheus can also handle to form different type of analyses from uh, different types of characteristics of any one of these sequences that we're looking at in the interface. And from the 40, approximately 40,000 sequences that we inputted into Morpheus from the sample FASTA file that we showed, we discussed methods for computing various coefficients of correlation between any fixed number of sequences or even all 40,000 sequences at once. And we also looked at uh, functionalities that are given in Morpheus, which one can directly use and implement in a much more convenient automated fashion for constructing heat maps. And this can help us allude to the potential future avenues for uh, making use of this interface, namely the Morpheus interface for other data sets and whether they can be publicly uh, deposited data sets or FASTA files or other types of genomic formats or those which can be generated from new algorithms. And thanks for watching.